distinguished guests, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, good day. International Human Solidarity Day is observed today. In 2005, the United Nations General Assembly designated December 20th as International Human Solidarity Day, a day to celebrate humanity's unity in all its diversity, to remind governments to honor their commitments under international agreements, to raise public awareness of the importance of solidarity. And to encourage the promotion of solidarity to achieve sustainable development goals, including poverty eradication and respect for human rights, solidarity is one of the major paths that all nations have agreed on for humanity in the 21st century, and it is an essential factor determining whether global citizens can achieve collective prosperity and sustainability. Solidarity can never be achieved by merely talking about cooperation and mutual aid. What is most important and necessary is for everyone to take the initiative and practice solidarity with sincerity, to be tolerant and respectful from the heart, to reach out and help others, to be courageous and speak out against injustice, and to be willing to lead by example. Mr. Rudy Muhammad, former independent expert on international solidarity, stated in his report to the UN Human Rights Council in 2010 that international solidarity is a prerequisite for human dignity, the foundation for all human rights, and the people-centered approach to development, and serves as a bridge-building function across all differences and disparities. The overall goal of international solidarity is to create an enabling environment to maintain international order and ensure the survival of the international community. The challenges facing the world today require the collective efforts of global citizens, regardless of their differences. Emerging infectious diseases, for example, have massive ramifications for the entire human population. Viruses have no national boundaries, and can exist anywhere. They mutate through various genetic materials, and dwell in the Earth's ecosystem. No one is immune to their effects. Viruses are not limited to disease-causing viruses, but also all kinds of man-made scourges, systematic societal ills, economic exploitation, among other things. Any virus. That undermines universal human rights and people's right to life is a virus that affects all people. Its impact is no less than that of the viruses that cause disease in humans, and the damage it causes can result in death. Unity is the way out of the post-pandemic world, and the path to cure our interpersonal and social ills, as the world grapples with the unpredictable. And unprecedented negative impacts of the pandemic, solidarity is of the utmost importance in this critical moment of life and death. People, nations, governments, and organizations must unite in the battle for the common future and survival of humanity. Robert Owen, the father of personnel management, once said that there is strength and wisdom in solidarity. And that there can be no permanent and real solidarity without sincere equality practice or sufficient equality. The premise of unity is that each person can see others, and then see the needs of others and the overall situation. Individuals contribute to the greater good and create common prosperity. Solidarity embodies the values of social justice and fairness. Which are fundamental to human rights protection. We live in a world that is diverse in terms of races, cultures, languages, and customs. Only love and conscience can translate our diversity into solidarity and cooperation. Love motivates us to care for the interests of others, to be willing to accept and respect one another's differences, to do unto others as we would have them do unto us. And to treat others as we would like to be treated, 
conscience guides us to do what is right and to fight for equality and justice for all. The greater environment's atmosphere has been contaminated by the five poisons in human hearts: anger, pride, greed, foolishness, and distrust. When we are polluted by the five poisons and our hearts are blinded by greed, the environment will subsequently backfire on humans in numerous ways. This is a reality that the whole world must bear, whether we like it or not. We hope that more people's conscience will be awakened to inspire more kind hearts and good deeds, so that the positive butterfly effect can balance and reverse the chaotic world situation. Those who have committed numerous misdeeds, in particular, have a chance to rescue their souls if they can wake up soon and atone for their sins, allowing them to be purified and spread positive energy across the world. In this time and age. It is impossible to protect oneself by ignoring the suffering of others, and selfishness and indifference to justice are tantamount to promoting evil. Only well citizens who are filled with love and conscience, who constantly cleanse and reflect on themselves in the midst of pollution, and who apply true compassion, true courage, and true wisdom, can withstand the test of adversity, help themselves and others. And save themselves by saving others. The UN's Sustainable Development Agenda focuses on people and the planet, with the goal of improving the well-being of all living things. Without global cooperation and engagement, these sustainable development goals will be impossible to attain. To work together in diversity and inspire more people to activate their conscience. We must acknowledge and practice shared values of respect, understanding, tolerance, love, and conscience. Conscience is the shining treasure in our hearts that will guide us in the right direction to find a sustainable way forward for the benefit of all living things. The world is like a ship sailing through a storm, and we need a helmsman to awaken people's conscience and inspire unity. In order to offer stability and support, and move forward in the right direction during these trying times, we call on global citizens, governments, and international organizations to put selfishness aside, seek the common good, unite, as well as make decisions and take actions based on love and conscience. Together, we will be able to overcome the pandemic and the daunting challenges of our time. As long as everyone has a sincere heart filled with love and peace, the power of kindness and wisdom can turn the tide, move the world toward peace, and bring a brighter future to the next generation. May you all stay steadfast and confident in the face of adversity. May love and conscience prevail on earth.